Welcome back. Let's check out some of these money flow indicators. Now we've got the money flow oscillator, the money flow index, and the Chaikin money flow. And let's just see what happens on each of them before price takes a run. This one goes above zero. This one's still below zero. And then here it starts to take off. Kind of with this one and this one. You know, is our Chaikin still, you know, usable? I see it's one period ahead. So it seems each of these could be used all together to give entry and exit points. This looks a lot like the RSI, but I think this would be way more accurate. And some even call this money flow the volume weighted RSI. So this would be a volume weighted you know, RSI oscillator. Okay. Let's see how they look on the daily. Okay. We can see how they have a big jump here. Let's check out something else like Apple. Oh, too many A's on that Apple. Okay. We see these big jumps here. There's a crossover. Here's a crossover in the money flow. So it looks like money is starting to flow back into the market. Now, let's take our money flow and put that up against SPY. Let's see if any money is flowing back into SPY. We don't quite see that, do we? Let's check it out on the four hour, one hour, one hour chart. Now on the one hour chart, we see money flowing back into SPY here. Okay. Let's go back out to the four hour. Here we go. And we can start to see this buying power. You know, lots of buying power in SPY. Okay. So big money flows. Excellent. So money is flowing back into our market. XTO eligible money flow coming in here. Okay, well, we know what happened here. Okay, now let's check out money flow coming in here. A downwards W, usually an upward sign. All right. Let's see where that money flow was. Looks like that money flow was here too. Looks like we fell below, you know, treaded some water, got some double crosses in here, which are excellent signals. And then boom, went up, money flow coming back in little bit of profit going out. Let's see if we can't continue to ride this trend all the way up. It's nice and smooth, but that would be better than the inverse action. So now that we've gotten around this, this particular point, or even if it was extended to here, and this is the real breakout zone. Yeah, we, we could try that. Eh, it's possible. It is right there on the line with a money breakout here recently. And looks like money flow index is coming back above zero. Or this, uh, what is it? Maybe 20 and 80 is what this is going off of. So I might even consider recommending 10 and 90. Yeah, that's what it looks like it's changing at. That's what the its own code is doing, so... 
that could be a good signal to get in when it comes above say one or two or ten then you're going to want to sell out when it crashes say below you know say uh, gets above 75 and starts to go below so you will have caught some part of a move there and the point is not to be completely greedy okay now this money flow here it catches it okay that's that's excellent you catch that money flow in a bounce here perfect bounce looks like this is based on zero comes above zero and this is based on zero comes above zero so excellent you know this road right on the line this was well under it they both bounced above that was a signal to get in slow sell off had these crosses here that's usually a good sign you know even if you buy in tread a little water boom high reward and yeah, money flow index here we go all right money flow crossover meaning it goes from down to up and I, let's see if we can even find a money you know flow crossover that we can get for like a lower study let's see and just money flow hmm although I'm sure we could find you know it says crossover and then here is your crossover right here okay And I don't think adding this money flow is going to help. All right. Let's check this one out. Okay, so money is starting to flow back into it. And okay, it's looking to come above zero here. So that could be a nice big move if it does, as we see those do happen. Okay, working on a money flow index. And we can use, on the four hour and daily chart, we really can get some good signals based on this oversold and overbought system. Um, yeah, you know, I can, I can really see. A good bot setup coming. And we may even be able to use this one to build some good scans and I'm not, you know, even this one. Yeah, you know, so we can use the money flow oscillator and the money flow index to build some good scans that I like to see although I'm seeing some times where these two don't quite agree and I wonder if those are points of confluence that we should be paying attention to see and it's just a big kind of solid zone and one crosses over the other price starts coming up one crosses over the other, money's coming in. Now they both start to hike up, hike up, hike up, hike up. Okay, and then boom, blew, you know, they blew up there. Let's see how that looks on a lower time frame. This one crossed over. Yeah, there may be something to that. I'm 
also we can look for times when the money flow index is below 20 and above 80 or below you know say 10 and you know 90. of money coming back into QuantumScape. And look how they just took off. Check that out. Okay. Mm. It still may simmer down a little bit before it's ready to take off again, but it seems like there is certainly tradable money flow here with QuantumScape that is a tradable strategy that would work. It would be profitable. So tracking the money flow is a very, very good thing. Now let's Go ahead and cut this short. We've seen how it can be beneficial. I'll go ahead and uh, make the scans on my own time, and you know, then I'll show them off in another video. And I cut some time off of the videos there. You know, try to keep it short and sweet, and simple, perfect. So, you know, subscribe. Make sure you stick around, and you know, I say what maybe give the first 1,000 subscribers, you know, my free algorithms. So make sure you subscribe and, uh, you know, I'll copy the list and I'll send you an email. All right. So happy trading and go make some money.